welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve one more example on the routh hurwitz criteria so this is the example number 4 and what this example says is consider the following characteristic equation for a system that is given as s to the power 5 plus 2s to the power 4 plus 24s cube plus 48s square minus 25s minus 50 equals to zero. Determine the stability by use of Routh's stability criteria. So what we need to do is we first form the Routh array and check the stability that whether the system given to us is stable or not. So let's do it. First of all, according to the characteristic equation, we need to form a Routh array. So this is the odd power of s. This is the odd power of s. This is also odd power of s. So the odd power of s coefficient will be here. The coefficient is one. Here the coefficient is twenty-four. Here the coefficient is twenty-five minus twenty-five. Then we write the even coefficient. So the even coefficient of s to the power four is. 2 s to the power 2 is 48 and s to the power 0 is minus 50 then we perform the formation of routh array here we write the s to the power in the decreasing order so s to the power 5 then s to the power 4 then s to the power 3 then s to the power 2 Then h to the power one. Then h to the power zero. This is done. Since it is starting with the odd power, that's why we will write odd coefficient first. So the odd coefficient are one, twenty-four, and minus twenty-five. One, twenty-four, and minus twenty-five. Then it is even coefficient. So the we will write the even coefficient here. So the even coefficient are two. Then forty-eight. Then minus fifty. Then to fill the further entries, we will perform the cross multiplication. So this two will be multiplied with twenty-four. So two into twenty-four minus this forty-eight will be multiplied with one. Forty-eight into one, the whole result will be divided by with this two. So we will get zero. Again, we will perform cross multiplication with two. Will be multiplied with minus twenty-five. Minus minus fifty will be multiplied with one. The whole result will be divided by two. We will again get zero here. So we will put zero this side, then this zero at this place. Remaining no entries, so we will simply put zero here. So notice this line. This is complete row having only zero entries. So this type of question comes under type first category. This is type first category of question in which whole row becomes zero. All the elements of this row become zero only. So, how we are going to deal with this question? We first form the auxiliary equation, and the auxiliary equation can only be formed on the basis of these coefficients. That are the coefficients which are which are present just above the all complete zero row. So, these coefficients are two, forty-eight, and minus fifty. Here, the highest power of s is s to the power four. So we will start to form an auxiliary equation having the coefficient as s to the power four. So the auxiliary equation is always be denoted by a of s. So here a of s is equals to two s to the power four plus forty eight. S square 
minus 50 so this is our auxiliary equation in this manner we can form the auxiliary equation based on the row which is present just above the all zero row so this is our auxiliary equation after this we are going to differentiate this auxiliary equation so we need to find out d by ds of a of s so when we perform the differentiation we will get 8s cube plus 96s and the constant differentiation is 0 so this will be the result of dy ds of a of s so our equation now become 8s cube plus 96s equals to 0 if we take a common 8 then our equation become s cube plus 12s equals to 0 this is our final equation so what we are going to do is we just place the coefficient of these things that is s cube and s at this place only so we will again form a new route array this is our new route array in this we again write these entries s to the power 5 s to the power 4 s to the power 3 s to the power 2 s to the power 1 s to the power 0 1 24 and minus 25 1 24 minus 25 2 48 and minus 50 as it is so this is our equation 1 and the coefficient of equation 1 is the coefficient of s cube is 1 the coefficient of s is 12 and so we are going to place this coefficient at this place because this row only start with the s cube and right now in this equation we also have s cube as its highest power so the coefficient is 1 so we will write 1 here the coefficient of s is 12 so we will write 12 here remaining no entries are there so we will write 0 only now we are going to again perform cross multiplication to fill the, all the elements that are remaining in the router array. so this one will be multiplied with 48 1 into 48 minus 12 will be multiplied with 2 12 into 2 the whole will be divided by this one so we are going to get 24 so we will write 24 here after that 1 will be multiplied with minus 50 minus 0 will be multiplied with 2 so we will get 0 only whole will be divided with this one so we will get minus 50 so minus 50 will be written here no columns are there so we will write 0 only after that this 24 will be multiplied with 12 24 into 12 minus minus 50 will be multiplied with 1 the whole will be divided by 24 so we will get 14.08 so 14.08 after this 24 will be multiplied with 0 so we will get 0 0 will be multiplied with 1 so we will get 0 only 0 and no entries are there so we also write 0 here after this 14.08 will be multiplied with minus 50 minus 0 will be multiplied with 24 We'll get 0 whole will be multiplied with 14.08 so 
so we will get minus 50 here then after 14.08 will be multiplied with this 0 so we will get 0 and this 0 will be multiplied with 24 minus 0 so we will get 0 here so 0 here again we will write 0 so our route array is completed now and now we have to check the stability and count the number of roots that are lying in the right hand side of the S plane so let's focus on the first column of this route array the first column 1 is positive 2 is positive so no sign change 2 is positive 1 is positive no sign change 1 is positive 24 is positive no sign change 24 is positive 14.08 is also positive no sign change but 14.08 is positive and minus 50 is negative number so there is a one sign change so we can say that here is a one sign change here one sign change is present so we can say that one root lies in RHS of S plane since one root lies in the RHS of S plane so we can simply say that our system is unstable our system is unstable So we have checked that our system is unstable. Thank you. If you like my videos then press the like button and subscribe to my channel.